Hello, I'm Hadrock, and welcome to a brand new segment of Ask Plus. I'm still working out the kink, so bear with me. With this series, I'll be doing various impressions videos on the games released for the PlayStation Plus subscription service by Sony. To start things off, the first game of the year, DMC Devil May Cry. First of all, I should explain where I'm coming into this game from. I'm not really familiar with the Devil May Cry series as a whole. I own Devil May Cry 3, but I never really played it much. I got it for free with my PlayStation 2. From what I've gathered, this game has received a lot of negative flack from hardcore fans of the series. But with me, it's basically going to be an outsider's look. I'm going to see how this game works on its own, without much prior information. So what exactly is going on in this game? You play as Dante, a half-angel, half-demon amnesiac who finds his long-lost brother Virgil, who I assume becomes evil because there's DLC called Virgil's Downfall. Wait, who are you again? My name is Virgil. I established the order to help find a way to fight the demons. Yeah, it's one of those sorts of stories. The overarching theme is good versus evil, heaven versus hell, that sort of thing. However, the plot of this game specifically is basically a hodgepodge of various conspiracy cliches from the corrupt government, corrupt TV, corrupt fast food, all those corrupt big businesses and whatnot. This topical stuff isn't very unique and it's definitely not very subtle. Obesity, stupidity, drink virility. But it doesn't really make it any less valid. It's a bunch of cliches, but it's actually handled pretty well. Overall, it actually reminds me a lot of a movie in the way that it's presented. Not a movie that's going to win any awards or anything, but the kind of movie that someone comes home from feeling it wasn't a complete waste of time, you know? Now, a bunch of the complaints I see from the dedicated fans tend to talk about how this game buys into a bunch of gaming cliches that have come from the Call of Duty age of gaming. Looking at this gameplay, I can definitely see where they're coming from. It's very grey and dull, and wasn't he supposed to have a red coat? Now I'm saying something about going into limbo, Ed. I'm sorry, I think I may have just gone blind. Yeah, actually the bulk of this game is located in a place called Limbo, which is a fantastically designed place. It looked great, but in like a really ugly sort of way. I love it. All these harsh colors and then the geography is just really creative. This is definitely a huge highlight of this game. The design is just amazing, and the production values help it along by making it reactive. But I think what everyone really cares about in a spectacle fighter like this game is the gameplay. And from what I know, which admittedly isn't very much, this does seem to work very well. You can launch, you can dodge, there's all sorts of combo possibilities, you have a variety of weapons. Overall, I had a lot of fun messing around with this. Now the game suggests you play on the highest difficulty available at the start if you're a longtime DMC fan and want the full experience, but I'm not particularly familiar with these spectacle fighters, so I went with the medium difficulty, Demon Hunter. Well, I definitely wasn't a pro from the start, I picked it up very quickly. I can't get very high scores, but I feel like anybody who's more into this genre, this will probably be a bit too simple for them. There are several higher difficulties, they all have to be unlocked however. But the combat itself is very slick, you've got a variety of weapons to cover your bases with different types of enemies, you're constantly encouraged to mix it up so that you can get a higher combo bonus, and pretty much everything you do oozes style and you still have plenty of time to deal with what's going on around you. Now personally I don't really think these high difficulty action games really work in a 3D plane, I think there's too much room for error to be blindsided or something like that, but I guess that's just a matter of taste. Overall, the combat, as it should be, is definitely the high point. But a definite low point is the platforming. At best, it's mind-numbingly simple, but at worst, it just plain doesn't work. It's forced unnecessarily into every level, and it's just nowhere near as well thought out as the rest of the game is. I feel like it's mostly done just to show off the environments, which are very nice, and it's nice to have a bit of breather room between fights. I'm only going to briefly touch on the sound design of this game because I don't really have that much to say. Some people have issues with the heavy use of dubstep, but I think it suits the tone of the game overall. It's not something I'd go out of my way to listen to, but in the context of the game it works fine. I'm actually kind of disappointed by the sound effects though. I thought they'd have a lot more punch to them. I've talked about this game being pretty, but it's actually kind of let down by the graphics engine or perhaps just the fact that it's on a console. Really awkward, flickery shadows plague push every cutscene. My succubus is dead. Oh. 
And now my final point. And I feel like this is going to be the part that breaks it for a lot of people, and that's the tone. I feel like it would alienate a lot of players who would otherwise enjoy this very solid game. Let's have a look at some examples. The world is at last your bitch, as am I. Nothing left but to grab it by the hair, bend it over, and... Who the fuck are you? You missed it. So I chose my path, and I lived by it. But after all that anger, violence, and death, you have to dig deep. Dig into your own heart. See if you're still sane, or if you can still call yourself human. Now, people claim that the writing of this game doesn't hold up to the standards of the previous games. I should have been the one to fill your dark soul with light! light, light, light. Yeah, I'm gonna have to disagree on that one. All in all, DMC Devil May Cry is actually a ton of fun. It's a very solid action game. The tone, as I said, is probably going to put off quite a few people. But if you can get past that, there's a ton of fun to be had here. I'd even recommend this to people who don't usually play Spectacle Fighters. It might actually be a great gateway drug for this sort of thing. Because I found myself picking it up very easily. The difficulty levels make it so that it's not too hard right off the bat. And you have some room to experiment. All in all, I really recommend this game. And I think that it's a great way to start off this year with PlayStation Plus. Missed. Thanks for watching. This is a brand new series, so we're still working out the kinks. Tell me what I did right or wrong. And if you like this video, subscribe to Strex. It really helps out.